remember one time we had a guest at home. Uh, he was a friend of my dad and he came and as I was serving him with some food, he asked me, oh, so how is school? And I was like, that's fine. Then he's like, you know, if I had a girl child, I would never pay for, he, for her school fees oh. because what is she going to do, get pregnant? And then I lose all the money. My parents had separated by then and my mom was working for this woman who was working for Action Against Hunger. Uh -huh. And I used to see her as big boss. I had a role model. I remember once my teacher wrote on my school report that Oh, Violet likes hanging out with boys. It was as bad as it can get because my dad was like, oh, okay, so now you just go to school for boys. Now, okay, so now you're going to get pregnant and then what? There's the, the other issue is just about poverty. So it's not just girls. It's both girls and boys. So when I hear equality, I think the first question that should go in everyone's mind is equality of what? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, is it opportunities? Is it privilege? Is it status? Is it... You know, as you say, there are really people in different contexts, different situations, and you cannot generalize it, and people are not homogeneous. I, I, I learned it from Amatya Sen's basic capability approach, where you look at are they able to provide themselves food, shelter, and clothing in a decent manner. I mm -hmm. guess that's where we should all really just start from, like, do they have basic needs, equality of access, mm -hmm. equality of opportunities? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't discriminate and maybe it might be hard to achieve it, but there's a lot we can do mm -hmm. to help out someone else. We are all not free until everyone is free. Yeah. International Women's Day 2020 individual collectivism that we are all parts of one and if, if one of us is broken, then we cannot make it to be whole.